Hey guys, David from the Outdoors Den, and today we're going to look at this Chemical Guys cleaning kit. I got this kit off of Amazon, and it included a foam blaster, a couple wash mitts, some different types of wash, and some microfibers. Now this is a garden hose foam gun. This is not meant to be hooked up to a pressure washer. It's going to hook into any standard size garden hose. And as far as instructions go, there really wasn't too many on how to assemble this. Luckily most of it did come pre-assembled. This is basically how you receive your foam gun and you have to insert the nozzle right into there and there's little grooves and when you insert those when you insert the nozzle you'll hear an audible click to let you know that it has been seated properly so there are your nozzles in place there and you've gotten a sprayer that like I said will just hook up into regular garden hose it has an air hose style fitting that allows you to connect to your gun then really all you need to do is get your mixture together hook up your garden hose and you're ready to go now before you are ready to start you will need to put in your soap into the bottle and it gives you an indication on the bottle of how much soap to put in and then the water to add. And you can use a variety of different soaps. Uh, for this video I'm just going to use the citrus washing gloss. And then once that's done there's an indicator on top of the bottle that spins with different settings. And depending on that setting will depend on how much soap is dispensed. Now in the guide it does give you an idea of the mix. Um, it goes from A to E and E being the most foam, A being the least amount of foam. So it just kind of depends on how much foam you want as to how quickly the, this bottle will empty out. Well, we're ready to go, so let's get started and, and test this out. I want to be cleaning my camper and then uh, probably see if I can clean my truck in this video as well. I also got this vinyl rubber plastic protectant and applicator. Use the applicator on the tires of the camper and so far it looks like they did a pretty good job. We were at a campsite last time and ended up getting muddy and you know sometimes that if you don't wash that off right away the tires they uh they forever carry that and I just don't like that look so that did a pretty good job of getting that off. We'll see how exactly how it looks when it dries but it looks like it's mostly dry right now and looks like they did a pretty good job so overall pretty happy with that. So yeah, I was just kind of messing around with the camper, giving an idea of how that foam sprayer worked. And, you know, honestly, I'm pretty happy with it overall. Shine up the camper a little bit before we take it out this weekend. But, you know, like I said, can't complain. Did a pretty nice job overall. I even did the one side of my truck just to kind of mess around a little bit all 
Alright guys, so you got to see the, the foam gun used on my camper and used on my truck a little bit. And you know, for just being able to hook up the garden hose, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I know there's other applications out there you can get to use with a pressure washer and things like that. But you know, for the convenience to just be able to hook up your spigot and, and get going, it's not All right, guys, bad. that is going to wrap up the video for us today. I just wanted to note that some of the items that I used in this video were additional purchases and did not come with the original kit. The vinyl rubber protectant and the applicator for the tires were extra. But you know, they did a great job getting that caked on mud off the tires. They look brand new, so I'm very, very pleased with that. You know, thanks for watching our videos. Please like, comment, subscribe. I've got a lot more videos coming for you, so please stay tuned.